G'day guys again, welcome to Sawdust and Chrome. I've got a project you can do with the kids that I guarantee everyone's gonna nail. Nail art. Easiest project to do and a great one to introduce kids to using hand tools and a hammer. I'll chuck a list up, stuff you need to grab, and um, I'll wait for you to come back. Let's go. Sawdust and Chrome. Sawdust and Chrome. Everybody loves sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, before we get into it, there's a couple things you really need to know. Make sure the kids wear safety glasses. Make sure you've got a scrap piece of wood so we can practice before we attack our projects. Hammers. Hammers. Obviously come in different sizes. Depending on the size of your kids, you might need to grab a little one versus a bigger one. Um, please don't spend a small fortune on a hammer. It's only got one job to do. But make sure it's a claw hammer in case you have to pull any nails out. Don't do what I did and ask your hammer to do too much work. This one was a cheap, nasty little one and she bent. Uh, string or wool, doesn't matter, just as good. For the timber, I just had some leftover plywood, just cut them into squares that suit our pitches. Um, anything flat, plywood's a good surface, a good one to kind of practice with, especially for a first project. So off cuts of plywood work well. These are 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres square. Don't make this mistake I did when I did my first one. Um, the nails I used straight away, uh, the nail head was too small and when I was stringing mine together at the end, um, the string kept slipping off the top of the nails. So make sure you get ones flat head nails that have a nice kind of whitish top to them and that'll work perfect for the kids. Oh, and don't get them too small. We need the kids to be able to hang on to them. Uh, if at the end of the video you've had a good time and you got something out of it, Please make sure you click the likes and subscribes. Please leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Um, there's lots more to come and I don't want you guys to miss out. All right, let's get into it. Uh, g'day everyone, I'm Brock. Um, earlier Dad forgot to mention that you can buy these little hooks just at the hardware store. Today I've chosen to do the peace sign for my nail art. Make sure it's in the middle. Just get some tape to secure it down. Thank you. And then that's ready for your nails. Let's get into it. Hold them between your, your thumb and finger, nice and upright. And use your fingers as a guide to how high you want it to be. Parents, please make sure nothing comes through the back. And you buy your nails the, the, like the size of the nails to match the board that you're going to use. Um, if we bend a nail, the best thing to do to get your nail out is to use like a scrap bit of metal or your ruler or a scrap piece of timber if you have to pull a nail out because we don't want to damage our boards. Um, oh, and if the kids want to practice, because I'm a fan of a lot of practice, they can go nuts in a board, uh, a scrap piece of board. Same deal, nice and upright, a few taps. Use your fingers as a guide for the height and hang on to the handle at the base. Alright, I got this. Right. I'll go get a cup on. I'll be back. Uh, 
I'll make sure you have earmuffs if you want them. That is awesome, bro. Depending on how old your kids are, they might need a hand to get the um, sticky tape off and peeling the paper away. Sometimes it's a smidge tricky, but take your time, it's worth persisting. Just keep going. Yep. Did you use your paper? Parents, I know it's tempting, but please don't fix your kids' projects too much. It's their project, not yours. And it's their project that's going to a loved one. So if the nails are a smidge crooked or a little bit different heights, that is fine. Click, 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 click. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm just on my computer. Click. <laughs> what is Forrest Gump's password on his computer? One, Forrest, one. <laughs> All right, break the gag. Stop mucking around, let's get into it. Um, next part is, we've got a picture we're gonna kinda of use as a guideline. Um, Brock's gonna get started. Uh, Colour-wise, it doesn't matter what you do. Remember my amazing moose one. She was all one colour, and whatever combo you want to do for this one is perfectly fine. You cannot get it wrong. Um, we've got a, we've got a bunch of colours to play with, so I'll let Brocky choose whatever he wants. The kids may need a hand because you kind of have to tie it off to start it in a particular point. Um, where do you want me to start? Mm, okay, this way. Which one? Oh, no. Just start there. So, just a simple double knot. Doesn't have to be anything clever. Was it that one? Yep. And 
And once you're happy, um, trim a little bit of the end off with our scissors. Some of the little daggy bits of paper we just got rid of with, um, we used a little screwdriver, a pair of tweezers would have been better. Um, if there's a tiny bit left over, it really doesn't matter. Once the string's on there, you can't see it anyway. All right, Brocky can go for it. Oh, oh sorry. As you can see, it really doesn't matter how you go about it, what nails you hit. I found it with my moose in particular. It's any kind of random pattern. I put no thought into it. But I did do a final one around the outside edges to kind of give it a good outline. Uh, over to Brocky. I might just go like here, those two to those two. Yep, go for it. If you've got little, little ones, it might help with parents. Kind of put a finger. Oh. To lock it in place. Because the string works better if you can keep some tension on it. Mums and Dad, this is a two-person job. Keep the tension on it. Wrap it around a few times. And then do kind of have to tie it off onto one of the other ones.
go. Great job, Brookie. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been another episode of Sawdust and Chrome. I think Brock did a fantastic job. And everyone across the planet, we could all do with a little bit more peace. Love. And more moose. <laughs> Thank you. And um, go buy more tools. Any excuse to grab stuff. Thank you. Project, a great way to introduce kids to tools and hang out in the shed and everyone could do with a little bit more moose. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>